Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am JB. This is JB's Corner. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I think y'all can hear me, so that's a good thing. Okay. Now, it is Friday. I feel like it ain't much going on. It's a few things to discuss. People, child lawsuits, Twitter beefs, and just foolishness all up and through and let's just talk about a few things and whatnot okay but first thing first if you have not done so already take a little second and subscribe to my channel become old jaybird jaybird dot 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 and dot okay do not forget to also like the video comment in the comment section because it's a conversation um share the video as well you can follow me on social media at baby's corner on ig twitter and tick of the top now i was on here a second ago and my signal is already being funny. I probably need to restart my router, but I didn't have time to do that today. So I probably won't be on screen much. I mean, I'm here. How y'all doing? But again, because I know the thing kept popping out, honey, that I don't want to have no, no squiggly lines and no weirdness. So when I look and see that it's weird, I'm going to pop on off. Okay, I don't have a lipstick on. I can let my lips just be my lips. And I haven't put my lipstick on in like three days. I think it's like three days or whatever. So y'all know, you know, don't my lips. I look regular. I look I look real regular. Regular. Look real regular. Okay. But these are okay. The thing we're gonna discuss. Now, Funky Dineva was also live just you know shortly ago. And he was saying how he has some exclusive tea, honey. So we're gonna get into that too. Some exclusive tea that goes with the escape. Natasha Scott, you know, how she broke up, whatever, and, and that, and this, and that, and this. So we'll watch what he had to say too, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then get it done, okay? But happy Friday, y'all. I was not live, that I was not live yesterday because I just came home and chilled out because it wasn't much at all. I'm like, if, it, if I would have went live yesterday and discussed the escape stuff, I probably wouldn't have been live today. So we're here today, live and whatever. Um, but I was, I did pop on Alex's live because Alex, Alex was on with Heavenly. Congrats to Alex. And then when I got home, he was live on his own channel. So I popped on Alex's live and we chit had a little bit, a little bit with me, Alex, and then two other individuals or whatever. So if y'all did not know, I was on, I was talking with Alex <laughs> last night, but it was fun. Okay. But how y'all doing? Well, let me get some hellos in. Hey. 
I'm gonna pop off because I can see my, my signal being dumb. Hi, how y'all doing? Hello to everybody around here. Okay, come on now, we wine and a snack. Okay, that's what we supposed to have around here. Hello to my mods, my members, the J Birds, the newbies, the OBs, and bees who don't know who they is. Welcome to the corner. Okay, this the first of all. This is the safest corner on YouTube, okay? It really, really is. I hope y'all have a good time. Whether you're watching live or watch the replay, a good time will be half off. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to see if I, if I stay on. It's, it's the resolution. I think it'll be the resolution or whatever that makes the signal go down, down, down. But as long as y'all can hear me, okay, and I don't look all, you know, figgly wiggly, I'm going to stay on camera. Okay, until I see... You know that I'm freezing, then I'll go away. Okay, but happy Friday. We round here having past time because that's what we do and stuff. Um, his show was good. I know we're going to have a good time. Shout round here, round here. Okay, and yes, 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 yes. Okay, now I was saving stuff, right. I was saving the most random of things, you know, on IG today because stuff was happening, but then not happening and then happening at the same time. And so I was like, why is why are people around here um, fussing on the social medias? Why are the folks around here um, trying to be beefing with each other? Why is people around here um, getting caught on camera? You know, kids seeing it for the first time and all these things. But I was like, child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> color really pops on my skin. I'm lucky, I'm lucky with that. And because the weather is now changing, we kind of get into spring. It was cold today. But I can start wearing my bright, bright colors. Because I y'all, when it's cold, like wintertime, I be wanting to dress and put my clothes, I don't be feeling like it. So the weather changing, and, and it's my one of my favorite hoodies. And I've told myself, stop spending all this money on these clothes, and then you wear them one time. Okay, so this is my favorite Yeti hoodie, and so I wore it again today. But yes, popping, popping, popping. But hi to y'all. Okay, let me share my screen because we're gonna just run it and let it be what it is. I'm gonna talk. And y'all gonna listen, y'all gonna talk to me too, and we're gonna see where we go with that. Now, I may have to go blog by blog because it was a busy day at work, and I almost wasn't really able to fully, fully scroll, scroll, scroll stuff. Um, and I would just chow, ch look, just saving the most random of things, and so that's what we're gonna get into, okay? And if you don't like it, tell titties, okay? Tell titties um because that's what that's you know this is what it is around here that's what it is around here but again whether you are watching me live or watching the replay i appreciate y'all for being the watchers okay because everybody can come around here every day at 9 p.m some y'all watch me at 9 a.m and i appreciate that okay but let's get into some of the foolishness now i saw this the other day Okay, here, one been obsessed with the man at the gym, put a tracker on his car, and then pissed him with the girlfriend. I said, now, first of all, how crazy is you, Chung Lee? How crazy could you be? Now, you can't be falling in love with strangers and then, you know, saying beat up their girlfriends or whatever. It happened on March 29th, you know what I'm saying, uh, and here in Hazel Park. Because police just found a location for a woman who was shot. Not she was shot. Um, the victim was not shot, but was struck by a pistol while seated in a car. I'm first of all, I'm not getting in the car with strange people. Okay, but if somebody had a gun and forced you in the car, what can you do? Okay, it says she described the, sub the suspect to office and an Asian woman in her 50s that was looking for an address as a door dash delivery person. Okay, police. Said she fled in the great F4 F 150. They found out GU, a 52 year old female from Rochester, child arrested and said, I was, I was, I want to scare her a little bit, okay? Because I like a man. 
I like her man, so I want to scare her so she would then leave him. Okay, then we can be together. I was like, what is wrong with you? She eventually admitted that she was obsessively in love with the victim's boyfriend after seeing him at a fitness gym, and she began to stalk and track the boyfriend, and the victim were period leading up to the assault. Jail. Jail. Okay, let's see. The suspect now faces uh, felonious assault. Y'all, 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 the only reason I know what felonious assault is, is because you know my ex, the bad guy, he was charged with felonious assault when he attacked me back in the day. That's the only I know what it is. Okay, um, again, felonious assault, two counts of possession of a firearm and the commission of a felony, um, weapons, carrying a concealed weapon. Um, stalking, motor vehicle tracking device violation, and she was arraigned. Her bond was set at one million dollars. Okay, send her ass to prison. Send her ass to prison. Come on, not immediately. Okay, immediately. This is the thing. I get you see him and you like, okay, who he cute? He cute. But to then stalk the person, put a damn tracker in that car and then not beat him up but beat up the girlfriend i'm like what would that do <sighs> people need jesus okay but hold, lock lock her ass up lock her ass up uh keith lee and keith lee was in atlanta y'all know y'all know keith lee and that keith lee food tour you know going around going around going around and uh, he and his wife were just in Hawaii for her birthday. And he had posted how they were going to be in Atlanta, and they were going to they were going to you know redo some of the cities they did their future on, like a reimagination. Okay, they're going to try different restaurants or whatever, and they were supposed to start in Atlanta. Well. He went to Atlanta, but he was not going to be there long enough. And so he decided if he could not do the whole full tour, the full tour, let me, you know, have some food trucks or whatever and try to give out some free food to people, blah, 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 blah. Well, they had one location, child. It was too many people. The police shut it down. They had to go to a second location, honey, to feed up the child. I said, Keith Lee out here doing the Lord's work. Okay. Keith Lee was there. Also, Kai. Is a Kai Sinead Kane and somebody else. I can't think who the other person was, but I feel like people don't understand. You know, people out here struggling. Okay, some people don't get those folks needed a meal and they out there getting the free of the food. Now, Keith and them had had, I think, one food truck come because they thought that it was going to be um like only like 500 people or whatever. But once they moved locations, because they said the first location, the police said the first location had at least a thousand people. And so they moved to this location. Other food trucks put up and still gave out food for free to, you know, help the cause of it all. And my thing be this, child, I say out here being a blessing and out here being a blessing. And I think my night child, the night folk came through and he get yeah, it was a couple of shoes or whatever. I think they only had like certain sizes, but again, gave out some shoes to the kids. Just a, a wonderful time. Just a wonderful time. And I feel like enough people be hating on that man for no real reason because all he wanna do is eat some food and chill out, you know, and, and tip people and just tip some people. But, you know, they's up and signing the shoes or whatever, and kids getting the shoes and everything, because the children need shoes, child. The children's feet got to be covered in the 2024. Okay? 2024. And I was like, kudos to Keith, to the Kai, I think it was Kai Sinet dude, and then whoever dude is in the little future, um, Durek, I don't know who that man is, but he was there too. Uh, but it, it, it's a good, look, a good feeling of just trying to be a blessing to some y'all. Somebody, you know, look, somebody tell Keith Lee to give me forty, give me forty thousand dollars. Okay, somebody tell Keith Lee. <laughs> anyway, um, but again, congrats to Keith Lee for just trying to, um, you know, be just be a a, a cause for love and affection. Okay, um, seeing this, uh. Two charged after woman plans 
to to take her husband out over the phone. I said, now what is wrong with people? If you over the over the jail phone, not a house phone, not a cell phone, not a burn a burner phone, not a pay phone that is on the way. Are all the pay phones gone? I think all the pay phones are gone. But I was like, now what in the stupidity is going on? A woman from Tetrafield and a man from Warren have been around in connection with an alleged takeout event. Okay. Um, a takeout for, for hire. You want to take somebody out. You're going to hire somebody to take somebody out. Okay. And it was discovered via a Macomb County jail calls when the dude was in jail. So you, dude is in jail talking to the lady. And I, what is wrong with people? Okay, Aaron Mutterspaw, A36, was incarcerated in the Macomb County Jail from May 1st of 2023 until September um, for a drunk driving case. Okay, so late at the time, the female suspect, Carmen, name, I can't put out that name, 35, asked him to have her soon-to-be ex taken out. He Acknowledge her request and allegedly said, you know, he would do that for her. I was like, now why would you do that? When you when any call from jail says every single call is say this call can be monitored or will you monitor and all that stuff. It's a, it's a, this is a prison call, a prison call, a jail call, all of that call. Okay, all of that call. And it's just stupid. Okay. It says the conversations were discovered when the victim's attorney made a request for the phone call from prison and found out, oh, you want to kill me, don't you? Okay. Carmen, the lady, is charged with, charged with sensation of takeout. Okay. That's a life felony. When you, when you solicit, you know, the services of somebody to take somebody out for life, that is a life felony. Um, conspiracy to commit a homicide and life felony um, and malicious use of telecommunication service, six month misdemeanor. Okay. Aaron, the dude who was saying, I'll do it, was also charged with conspiracy to commit a homicide, life felony, malicious use of a life, 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 life. Get them, give them life. Give them life. <sighs> Let me see. It says they had one of them had a hundred thousand dollar bond. The lady bond was hundred grand. Uh, the dude was five hundred grand. Child, leave their ass in there. Don't they don't get out. Leave them in there forever, forever and ever and ever ever. Right? It, it says verbatim the call is being recorded. The call. Is being recorded. It's, 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 it's like you're calling them from inside the prison. Okay. Now I seen this and I said, now what is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? Church, how you at church? A daily argument after a daddy's church service, okay, of a love triangle. Shot and killed after church service here on Easter Sunday. Sat down and talked to us not only about how his life ended, but also what's next for her family and the church family. I would. Would you go back to that church? I feel like if a if a spat happens, a love triangle spat, and folk end up seeing Jesus literally, I may not want to come back. This is youth pastor Denzel Branch being introduced at church this past Good Friday. The 31 year old. Not on Good Friday. Served as a minister at New Generation Church in South Dallas. It's also where, just two days later, on Easter Sunday, his mother Shayla Wilcox learned he was shot and killed. Oh, on Resurrection Sunday? Not on Resurrection Sunday. I remember having the feeling of being so dizzy at first and then i just screamed out that i trusted god and that's him the grieving mother shared these photos of her son a father to five kids here he's with him with the boy 
Dallas police say after Easter service outside New Generation Church, the fight escalated and police say Andrews got out of the car and shot Branch several times. He preached his last service on Friday. His mother now leans on her faith and memories of her son's dedication to his church. I must admit, who shot, who shot Johnny? Let me read it, because sometimes when you don't read so first, awesome. you can't see what, let me get back to the beginning. Right. I feel like they must, I, 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 I must have skipped over it, I don't know. Let me see. Let me read you what it says. It says, on Easter Sunday near a church in Dallas, a tragic incident occurred, a dispute that originated from a love hangar escalated into a violence act, resulting in the death of one man, blah, 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 blah. Um, they said they charged Joshua Andrews, a 30-year-old man with, with, with murder, uh, in case a 31-year-old Denzel Branch's death because of a confrontation. How, how are you confronting people at church? I don't understand. You're supposed to be at church talking to Jesus. It says, per eyewitness account from the police indicates that Andrews and Branch had a strong connection to that church, okay, where it occurred. Branch was, was a youth minister. Andrews is said to be a son of the child of son of the church lead pastor, the pastor's son. Ooh. They started in the child, you're fighting the, the fight started in the pastor's office, and then they kept fighting outside. Okay, it turned physical, and then branch the, the branch punch Andrew. Oh, Lord. And then Andrew drew a black pistol to fire that child. What? How you fighting in the church? Who brings guns to churches? Now, first of all, the mugshot dude, he looked like he's a pistol holder. Okay? He looked like he packs a pistol. I'm just saying. You know, I just, you know, Andrew later confessed to the police that the argument was rooted in a romantic entanglement involving Brenda's ex-wife, with whom Andrew claimed to have been involved in since 2023. Y'all up fight over cooch. It is so many, it is so many cooches in the world. I never understand why folk be fighting over one cooch. Okay. This now you now you now you are going to jail for life, sir, for murder, and somebody ain't here. Okay, somebody ain't here, and now you're gonna be in prison, and you better hope don't don't drop the soap, child. Don't do that because you up and killing people for no damn reason. Um, I saw. Well, first of all, y'all know I love the show Will Trent. I I don't know if y'all know. Okay, but I am happy that Will Trent was renewed for third season. Okay, we have to take the small blessings because sometimes our favorite shows get canceled and we stuck on just we just stuck, you know. So I'm happy. Also, if you don't know, um, uh, nine one one on ABC with with uh with Angela Bassett or whatever that show is also renewed for season eight, I believe. So I am happy that Will Trent was renewed. I'm also happy that 911 on ABC was renewed. I like both them shows, okay? And I, because I'll be needing stuff to watch inside. Okay? And if you have not watched either show, go watch them. Okay, good shows. Anyway, um, when I saw this picture, what y'all, I'm like, why, why be new? Now, first of all, Waka Flocka's in the suit. I said, first of all, Waka Flocka looked like a badass kid on Easter Sunday. When the bad children have to put suits on for the talent show at church, okay, or for her parents student night at the at, at, at the school and they put a little suit on, Waka looked like a badass kid dressed up for Easter. Okay. A bad-ass child dressed up for Easter. People around here, disguising themselves. And steal your stuff.
disguising themselves as trash bags. Now, first of all, you know, a lot of people be porch pirates. Child, look at this. A lot of folk is porch pirates, meaning they watch people's packages get um, delivered and, and, and delivered or whatever, and then they go and they take it. But people now, we have cameras. So somebody said a camera can't catch me if they can't see me. And this fool is dressed in a trash bag and duck walked up to somebody's porch to steal their package and it looked like they didn't slide okay i was like now who in the hell would do that how desperate are you to steal something that you like you know what i know it's the camera let me give me a healthy trash bag okay i'm gonna follow the amazon the usp the usps the usp girl you what you get yeah ups truck and I'm going to get all the packages because I'm going to be in a trash I said a trash bag? First of all, I'm not going to waste my tra tra child trash bag these days cost $35, okay? I always get me the hefty strong bags, um, like a 58 count, whatever. It's like $20, $30 or whatever. I'm not going to waste a trash bag to be a thief. So, y'all, nowadays, you know, you have to point your camera to the street. Because then he walk up the street with the bag on. You can't drive with a, like, he had to have put the bag on somewhere. So, I feel like, you know, point your camera to, your, to the street, too, to catch the fool putting on the trash bag and then duck walking to your house. People are stupid. I mean, also smart, but stupid. Um, Fallon around here is talking about she got shit to say. Fallon, man, we don't care. We don't care. She's in the, she, you know, she was on camera saying, oh, I'm, you know, this is my hair. I got new boobs. I have things. That, we don't care, Fallon. We don't. We, no, no, ma'am. And when someone said, you know what I'm saying, oh, She's going to she's going into business with Porsche and Dennis watch because her saying I have some tea to spill. And so they were saying she because she probably going into business with Porsche and Fallon said, I'd rather go into business with Simon and risk my freedom. Well, first, first, stupid. Stupidity. Because how you child, I, why you have four children. Have four children. If somebody jokingly says, "Oh, she probably gonna go on business with Portia," they say, "Hell, nah." But to say, "I would rather go into business with Simon, who also left me destitute." Ma'am, shut up. Now, 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 Fallon, we on your side a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, but shut it up now. We don't need you around here trying to side with Simon old ass. Um. Happy anniversary to Candy and Todd. They are celebrating their 10 years, 10 years of marriage. Child, they outlive Portia's marriages and Kenya's. Charade. Anyway, uh, but again, they have been married 10 years. The fact that she met him, you know, on the show, they, you know, he was a a, a, a producer behind the scenes and they met fell in love and got married and blah 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 bloop and now 10 years later uh two children later countless businesses and, and restaurants and this and that and that and this and they're still together so congrats to them for hitting that mic y'all know reality tv shows and and marriages and relationships sometimes it's like no it doesn't work not today. A lot of folk break up or whatever. But Todd and Candy is round here being together forever. Uh, what's the song? Nothing, no one could compare to what we have. Love, it feels. Come on, like you sweat. I'm so glad you're mine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, happy 10 years to them, okay? 
Um, also, happy anniversary, I think yesterday, the 4th, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z celebrated 16 years of marriage. They got married, of course, for, for whatever year 16 years ago was. So, again, some 16 years of marriage and uh, three children later and countless everything, businesses, uh, soundtracks, tours, uh, chop everything they didn't done, done in this in this time or whatever, and they seem to be still happily in love. I saw something saying, "Oh, Jay Z and Beyonce will probably." I don't know what. Child, I feel like Jay Z and Beyonce. Child, they could have. Child, they ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. But happy 16th anniversary. I'm not gonna think it's going again. Uh, my throat gonna hurt. But happy 16th anniversary to them too, because love is love. Okay. Um, child, when they show how Beyonce face is is Blue's face, showing Beyonce at their best basketball game where somebody was like reaching across, talking, uh, you know, talking across her, and she made that face, and we see Blue making that same face to the white lady who walked around her. To get to Beyonce, y'all. If YouTube not y'all, come on back in. I'm still here. If YouTube not y'all, don't let YouTube ruin ruin your good time because we still here. Um. Anyway, it's funny that Blue literally has her mama's whole face. Okay, her mama's whole her mama's mannerisms. Okay, because I was like Jesus. Okay, it is a twinning thing. Okay. Anyway. I saw that. Congrats to Serena who has launched a new makeup line. Y'all, I just gonna sound this gonna sound me. It's not this not about Serena. But I feel like everybody has a makeup line and this. I'm like, do I like I just feel like Serena? Come out with some tennis shoes. Did you play tennis? You know, but when I think of amazing makeup, I do not think of Serena. I feel like Serena has a makeup artist who sometimes does good and bad. Okay. And so I feel like I don't know if that's the person I want to go to for makeup. So I mean, but, but kudos to her. Congrats to her. I'm not going to buy it, but y'all should. Okay, it's a brand new makeup brand called Win Beauty. W Y N Win Beauty. Okay, congratulations, confetti. You know, and look again, no tea, no shade. But I'm just saying, when I think of makeup, I just do not think of Serena because we've seen her have some child. The, the makeup artist she's had work on her has made horrendous mistakes with her skin tone. And maybe that's why she wants her own line to help women of color, you know what I'm saying, be be cool. But I was like, okay, ma'am. Okay. But again, because I don't wear makeup. I just wear lipstick sometimes, okay? Well, all the time, not today. Um, But I hope she wins. Next up. <laughs> Cardi was talking about stuff, but I don't, I don't care that much. Um, let me refresh my screen, y'all. Let me went over a lot of stuff. I told y'all, y'all, I just have things that I wanted to get into and stuff I saved. And I'm going to start from the bottom and go up um, as I see. I saw this. They're saying that there are several surviving. First of all, the fact that after the R of the Kelly surviving R of the Kelly thing, how everyone is calling a Diddy documentary, it'll be called Surviving Diddy. Child, some folks didn't survive. Anyway. Um, but they're saying that there are several documentaries, you know, around the allegations with him, the investigations, how they have ex-artists, dancers, all the people who've been asked to uh, participate. I feel like there is a plethora of people who has worked with him over the years that if they have not already signed an NDA, would be able to give, look, I tell y'all all the time, <coughs> to me, there's a reason that 
old making the band episodes are not available. I feel like the making the band era, when he made the band, when he made Eddie Kane, Kane, when he made Day 26, all these groups that were generated and created through the MTV show Making the Band, like that was peak Diddy is the villain era. And even some of the artists, the, some of the, the 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 talent that was on that show, some of the the producers, some of the the, the staff, I feel like a lot of people probably have a lot to say. I was on TikTok. Like I'm a I'm a post some of my IG today. I was on TikTok last night scrolling, and they was I seen the scene where he fired Aubrey. And then also the scene before he fired her, they were fussing or whatever. I'm like, Diddy was an asshole. And even seeing old interviews with um, with Dawn, also D Woods, and how, you know, how he was then was a bunch of bullshit. Even Dawn saying the whole time that she was on the show, Puff kept threatening, threatening to like let her go because she had some kind of other contract with some like other group or some other label. Similar reading, reading they were, but he, she was like, he would consistently like threaten or make me feel like he was going to let me go. So I, I lived in constant fear of being let go. She's like, well, I think he did it to make me stronger. He did this, just happened. but no, Diddy round here, child. I'm not saying I was there, I'm not saying I seen him do nothing, but Diddy to me has done things. And has made people over the years uncomfortable. I feel like Diddy over the years has for sure used his power to his advantage. Um, so many people back in the day, you felt like you work with Puff, like it's a stepping stone to something better. So a lot of people put up with his bullshit because they felt like it'll pay off in the end. Some folk it did, a lot of folk it did not. And I feel like people who now realize I did all that and, and, and look what I got. You know what I'm saying? Look what I got. Not much. The fact that out of everyone who went through bad boys offices, Diddy is the one who's rich. And now we also know that a lot of labels, the label heads are also rich. It's not just Diddy. It's not just Bad Boy. It's also other people too. But Diddy to me sold a dream to folk. And some folk just never woke up. You know? And that's, you know, it's be child, it's a reckoning. One way or the other, it's a fucking reckoning. Um, let's see, we did that one already. I don't, because look, child, because Car child, Cardi fussed with somebody, and I don't know who, I don't know who Ramonte is. So when I had saved Cardi talking, Cardi talking, I was going to figure out who she was talking about or whatever, and I just, I never figured out who it was. Never did. Thank you, Miss Pendleton, for the cash app. I appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, but but I don't know who Ramonte is. I was that girl. I don't care. Um, who I want to get into? Oh, I seen this. One woman arrested after three year old was found with a two was found with two kilograms of cocaine in a backpack. Doing the home rate. I was like, first of all, why in the why in the backpack? But I think some I do think some drug carrying people feel like, oh, the police won't check baby stuff. You know, the police may check my purse. They not gonna check the baby's the, the baby's backpack. No, man, they're gonna they're gonna check the backpack. Okay. Okay. Uh this this stupid. Down in Alabama, behind Bart after her three-year-old, uh, after a three-year-old was found with two kilos of cocaine in a backpack, uh, the local police received a tip from a reliable, confident child, not a reliable, confidential source, meaning the child rats, okay? 
uh, the, the woman, Tierra Takara, Tierra Takara Hill, 35, had a large number of drugs at a known location, okay? Uh, they also said to release that they set up, girl, they set up surveillance at the home. They was watching you, girl. Police saw her leaving the home was followed until deputies conducted a travel stop. They found 1.5 kilos of cocaine and a small amount of marijuana and a handgun in the vehicle. First of all, that's not, that's not a lot. It's a kilo. Is that a lot? Because I don't do drugs, I don't know. I, I, I don't know weights. I don't know if a kilo of something is a lot. Like, I don't, like a pound, I guess, is a lot. Uh, but a, a one point five kilo. Well, so I don't know. Um, they looked inside the backpack and they literally found the two kilos of cocaine, uh, and then another kilo and two handguns are found inside a, a black backpack. But why would you have a child? During the time of the search, no adult was at was present. Four kids were there: three year old. Eight-year-old, ten-year-old, and fifteen-year-old. So now she she looked like I did it. She looked like I did it. I'm busted. I'm caught. Okay, charged with trafficking cocaine, secondary possession of marijuana, tampering with physical evidence, and four counts of criminal endangerment of kids. Because the four the child, why you got folks? Get a babysitter. You're not supposed to shit where you eat. If you're going to be around here with cocaine, don't have your kids around and don't put in your kid backpack. Take your ass to jail. Okay, jail, she goes. Um, now, I saw, first of all, this is where my $40,000 is at. Okay, now, when I first seen this, it says on Easter, uh, Easter Sunday Heist. A manhunt underway after thieves stole thirty million dollars from a California money storage. I say, bitch, what? How? First of all, why did nobody tell me that it is a money storage for? Girl, I'm, it's a storage place. Now we know banks are all over, but I don't even I don't think banks. Have 30 million. I don't think Nanan Banks sitting around has 30 million like this sitting on hand. Okay. And it says somehow thieves were able to go undetected by getting in through the roof. Fox, a view of a plain warehouse. The only clue of what the warehouse might contain, the armored cars in the parking lot. This is Garda World, offering end-to-end -end worry free cash management, according to their website. But even this Garda World employee who did not want his face shown had no idea what was inside the building. I didn't even know there was $30 million, whatever the amount is in that building. Uh, it's just a shocker. $30 million. Child, somebody get George Clooney, Brad Pitt, and them on the line. This is a child, Ocean 13, a heist of 30. Child, we only see that. Now, usually, folks get a couple thousand. Okay, a couple thousand. 30 million. Y'all, I told y'all all I need, all I want. Is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars in a lump sum tax free. And I'm telling y'all, I can set it off with that right there. Okay, child, look, <laughs> I would, I just want, I just want to know. <laughs> okay, Nicole, I just want to know uh, 30 million dollars. Look. Somebody find out who did it and tell them, hey, Jay Lee needs, Jay Lee wants 120 grand just so that she can quit her job. Okay. Because now they are rich people.
Hackers cash stolen from this building Easter Sunday. LAPD and FBI are working together on the investigation and turned down our request for an interview. But there's been reports that the burglars dropped down into the building and cut their way out on the side. It, it actually sounds like a movie. Stacy Porter is retired Homeland Security. He now provides security assessments for businesses and airports. We have one time to get it right, but nothing is 100%. Porter and others wonder how the crooks could come and go undetected. Again, the anonymous Garda World employee. Just From Sky Fox. The anonymous, first of all, is he, did he do it, child? Look, inside job. Inside. Because to, first of all, like they said, nobody knew what was in the building. They got in under, y'all know how heavy $30 million is? Was it ones? Was it fives? Was it tens? Was it twenties? Was it fifties? Was it hundreds? Okay. Y'all know how much it, how much time it would take to, to load up, meaning that they, they had to be strong to carry it. Okay. Because money not light. It isn't. Not thirty million. I want child. They get, I want fifty million. Just, I am upset because who did it, girl? If y'all see an empty building and armored trucks in the driveway, it probably means there's money up in there. Now don't because it's because they got away undetected. That's what I'm like. How does that happen? In Sad job, okay, y'all. I feel like Megan James, who I I really only know her from. I remember her from Bad Girls Club, and I feel like I've never liked her since then. Um, I know she's on the current or one of the past seasons of Basketball Wives, but child, I feel like she just wants attention so bad. I was forced to drink tap water when dining at Candy Burr's old lady gang restaurant. Brought out silverware with just forks, no spoons, no knives. Guys, I'm not Keith Lee or anything, but I just love old lady gang. Upon arriving there, I thought the food was going to come out really, really fast because there were zero people in the restaurant. But we ordered our food at 5 o'clock and got it at 547. They brought out silverware with only forks, no spoons or no knives. If you got there at 5... Ordered at five, it took them 47 minutes. What is y'all for me when I go to a restaurant? I feel like, depending on what I order, I don't mind waiting 40 minutes because cook my food, cook my food. Like, I want hot cook, like, I don't want my food to come unless I order a hamburger and fries. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm ordering some good old, some catfish, if I'm ordering some, some macaroni, and if I want some soul food, I'm like, I don't mind waiting about four. First of all, I'm talking the whole time, okay? I'm drinking some water or some libations. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's weird to me when someone says it took them 40. That's a, that's a normal time. I find it weird when I get food quickly. I'm like, no, that's old food. Why? How did you even cook? Is it clean? I was forced to drink tap water because they had no bottled water. They also charge an 18% gratuity on parties over five, I believe, which is that's regular. It's totally fine. But the waiter got tired of refilling our drinks, so he sat two pitchers of water and soda on our table for us to service ourselves. Okay, look, this is my thing. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, if you are consistently ordering water, child, here, here, could you keep? I don't mind that. The only thing I like, if I want, like you know, like a, a, a alcoholic beverage, yes, sir. Another mai tai, sir. Uh, can I get another Long Island? Yes, but if it's just ice water, yes, sit a pitcher of ice water on the table and I can pour it myself. That I'm not, I'm that I would not trip on. Because sometimes I hate when the waiters keep walking up and refilling my. I'm like, stop, stop refilling my stuff. Let me let me finish it a little bit, little bit, little bit. Okay. However, the gratuity is like okay. 
That's a that's, that's regular. Yeah. Now let's get into the food. You say you want some snacks? I had baked chicken. I give it a six out of ten. It was seasoned on the outside, not really seasoned on the inside, but it was made really, really well. Like meat falling off the bone. The kids had hamburgers. They loved them. My man had fish, and he said it was busting. The greens was a twelve out of ten. The macaroni was watery as hell. Don't order it. What else? I just don't like her. I think that I don't know. I don't like her. How does someone force you to drink water? I tap water. And how you know it was tap water? I, wait, 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 let me think. Let me think. When you go to a restaurant and you get water, do we ever ask them where the water comes from? I don't think I've ever asked. Cause I don't get bottled water when I go, you know, it, it's just, I don't, I think all the water be tapped in some kind of way and let you ask for bottled water. But I feel like when anyone goes to a restaurant, I don't recall anyone ever saying, where the water come from? Is it from the sink? The kitchen sink? Where it come from? I, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, okay. They didn't have bottled water. A lot of restaurants don't have bottled water. Some may, a lot don't. Okay, child. I was, I was, a, I was about to say this when she said it wasn't seasoned on the inside. Was the chicken cut open? No chicken is seasoned. Would not unless they, you know, what I'm saying, look, stick stuff into it. No chicken is seasoned from the inside. Okay. That's why I don't like her. She gets on my nerves, okay? The cornbread, 12 out of 10. And I actually loved our waiter. He was really, really nice. But y'all need to get some bottled water. People don't drink tap water. Well, not everybody. I don't like her, y'all. At all. Anyway, I just feel like she is stupid. Um, LeBron James' son will be entering the drafts. Child, him said, because I was like, is Brian a good player? And him said, no. He was like, no. I said, well, hopefully he'll, you know, like live up to the hype. And he was like, he won't. <laughs> Ain't dead ass serious, okay? Um, which means LeBron may play his son or his son, they may either play against each other, they may play on the same team, but it just depends. Um, I feel like that's cute. I do. I've never seen Bronny play. I've heard things. And I also feel like playing in college or high school or whatever versus playing in, co in, in, in the NBA is just different. Uh, and I'm hoping that he rises to the occasion. But him was like, I don't know. Like him is not, he's not here for it. So I don't know. But I'm interested to see how it plays out. You know, LeBron has been playing since forever. Um, I said I feel like he will play like two more years. Him said maybe one just to play one year with his son and then he will, he will retire. Um, but I'm like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. I just hope that once, if he gets drafted into the NBA, which I think you, I, I feel like people, I feel like they're going to, LeBron James playing either against his son or with his son is a money-making idea. So I do feel like someone's going to draft him just because, Next, you know, next season is going to be, or whenever they play together, it'll be a money making thing or whatever. And then after that, you know, hopefully he, you know, has something else to do. Um, because it is what it is. An earthquake hit, it was a Jersey, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake a hit outside Trent, New Jersey, and New Yorkers and New Jersey residents definitely felt it. Even Red is a reported it or whatever. I feel like I... Get a uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup, mayo. Top three teams in the Western Conference. They're one and eight. One and eight. Okay. 
this is serious. Stephen A, I'm not even joking in Perk. I lived in LA for four years and I experienced like two earthquakes. Stephen A, I swear to you on everything, I think we just had an earthquake in New York. Like this was absolutely insane. The whole studio. People like, do New York not care about stuff? I've been seeing New Yorkers. Um, when y'all be having no snowstorm, child, it be rain and shit. Y'all still be outside. I be like, what is wrong with y'all? I hope everybody's safe for one, and I hope one of them destroyed for two. But I, that's a that's a big earthquake, child. That's a big earthquake. But I hope again, I haven't heard of like no no trap like bad 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 or whatever. But you know, we we gonna hope and pray that things is okay. Uh, we got there, Bronny. Um, child, it say they say Diddy, uh, old bodyguard. If YouTube knocked y'all out, just come on back in. If YouTube knocked y'all out, just come on back in the room. Come in the room. Uh, Diddy's former bodyguards suggest Diddy may have taped. I feel like remember when Arbor of the Kelly, um, we, we was getting busted and disgusted and whatever, and then folks out the blue were like, oh yeah, we gonna talk now, we gonna talk now, and I feel like, why? Okay, I feel like, why? Um, if you not gonna talk when it was all happening, if, you, and if you're saying he probably has, you know, videos, okay, we know, but if you, if you the bodyguard, don't you know too? Well, again, we we shall that that's what those that were out here looking what's up. Child Christian, uh, now look, allegedly, allegedly, they're saying Christian because he's now named in the new lawsuit, okay, of being accused of um of essay. And they're saying whoever the person was, it happened in the studio. And so supposedly, allegedly, there is audio of the woman saying, you know, don't touch my leg like that. Leak it again off my ass. Like, it's audio of her saying, like, leak it off me. Don't do that. Come here for me, okay? Uh, it says, let's see. Now, it says, again, it's a, the lawsuit is against the son, but said Diddy has also been named as a defendant as well. Um, the woman's name was Grace Omar K. I don't know. It's O-M-A-R-C-A-I-G-H. Claimed that she was sexually assaulted by Christian on a yacht in 2022 and that Diddy aided in the behavior. Says she was, she says she has audio recording of Christian, Christian seemingly as assaulting her because there was audio, I'm sorry, they were in the studio on the yacht where Christian was recording at the time, none, girl, with none of the other, with, oh, with, with, oh, with Lil Rod. And Lil Rod is the dude that's suing Diddy. Now, I watched Below Deck, okay? I watched Below Deck, and on Below Deck, child, some of them guests be so inappropriate with the staff there, honey, I be getting mad. Like when I be seeing episodes or whatever, and how the men sometimes be looking to get a little handsy with the females, and some they have to handle it. But even sometimes how the 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 female uh guests be asking the male um staff, oh, oh y'all should strip for us, and I'm like, that's not good. That's harassment. But they be working for them tips, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, she said that why on that boat he was inappropriate with her, he was touching on her or whatever. And I look, that's why the people around here, like, look, they did stuff. Let's see what it's saying. Grace says she was working as a staff for the car for the charter service and Christian took a liking towards her. She included transcriptions of audio clips recorded by Rod that she states are evidence of her denying his advances as Christian gropes her. Excuse me, you don't touch my leg like that. I'll move my legs where I want to. Grace is heard saying in the recording, if I want to do this, then I will. You don't touch my leg like that. Um, listen, you and everybody in the crew, Christian Combs allegedly replies, 
I can't. I have to go down. Um, I have to go downstairs. She said she informed them that her boss would have to permit her to remain in the studio, something she knew they would not do. And Christian asked who he needs to speak to. Um, who I talk to him, going to say, I request you right now. Will you take my hand? Oh, take, oh, take your hand off my ass for the first thing. Chops. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay. Stop touching people, and you should not be touching people. And of course, she said, you know, a deep the, the assault, deep impact on my mental health, and this and that, and then this and my part girl money. Okay. I need some therapy money. Leave me alone. Um, I feel like again. Accusations require investigations, and then you know whatever goes on from that. If there is audio of her, even if the audio turn is simply saying, "Hey, don't touch my dad," keep your hands off my ass. Like you know, that's child. I don't even know how to even because it's like just just to play devil's advocate because some folk may say well was she purposely trying to get this stuff on recording to sue or did it just so happen that you know this stuff happened and it was caught on recording because if it ain't one combs it's another i promise y'all uh, why is Eric Benet in a tub of pearls? You know, all them people that be talking about, you know, Eric Benet. Oh, I know Eric Benet. He don't want, oh, he, he sing high. He can only sing high. That's all he do. This is for y'all right here. <clears throat> Yo, ho, all hands. Now, why the fuck you picked that song? Is he on TikTok? I'm like, now look, this is my thing. I am all for people relaxing in the tub, chilling out, you know, even in some pearls. Okay, he's around here trying to have a good old, you know, shampoo and condition session in the, in the pool, in, in the tub, or whatever. He clearly, clearly, he was on TikTok watching the see the see uh the TikTok or the TikTok C videos. Hoist the colors high. Heave ho, thieves and beggars, never shall we die. Now, first of all, <laughs> what is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Girl, I said what? Now, first of all, that song is creepy, but I be I, try, I watch. I be sitting up there watching all the C videos or whatever and whatnot. But I was like, he really round here and just pearling it on out. Okay. And maybe, you know, maybe pearls make him, you know, you know, it's just jewelry. It's just jewelry. And I'm girl, I don't know. But I said, I said, sir, you know. Maybe he had a good old edible, you know. Maybe he had a good, I don't know. But Eric Renee out here singing weird songs. Uh, Angela Jolie says Brad Pitt physically abused her uh, before the 2016 playing altercation. Y'all, this gonna sound mean, right? This is gonna sound mean. I don't, and I, I don't mean it to. I, I am sick and tired of Angela Jolie and Brad Pitt shit. I feel like they had child. That is, this has been eight years. Are they divorced yet? I feel like they still like divorcing. Um, and I don't doubt her claims that Brad Pitt was physically abused. I, I believe it. Um, I just feel like this is the longest. Situationship of little by little stuff coming out between them or whatever. And I'm just over it. I feel like y'all not together. I feel like the kids have chosen a side. Um, and I feel like 
if he was physically abusive to you during the marriage, and at the time, you know, no one called the police, and then when they first broke up, she talked about how he was like mean, or he was, I guess, aggressive, aggressive with the kids. I feel like it's just reiterating what we already know. And I feel like unless you're trying to have some type of charges against him in some kind of way, I feel like we now know that Brad Pitt was a handsome white man in person and on camera and an asshole behind the scenes. Um, and it's, And that's what it was. You know, but I also feel like some folks don't care because they feel like that she stole that man from uh Jennifer, Jennifer um um Aniston, and I feel like I feel like people still feel like she helps break up that marriage, and it's weird. Okay, um, according to TMZ, her team has made serious accusations against him that he had you know subjected her to physical abuse before the 2016. Incident in one because in 2016 he was accused of like maybe hitting one of the kids. Okay, it says her team says that she refrained from pressing charges against her former husband because she felt it was better pit to acknowledge responsibility and assist the family in overcoming the post traumatic stress that he caused. And it's it's like it's it's smoke and mirror shit. Like I feel like I just feel like they be talking a little bit of shit, and I like 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 what happened? What happened? Like if you can't say what happened, then don't say shit at all. I feel like he, Brad Pitt. You know, ain't innocent, and I, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm trying to say, oh, it doesn't matter what he did. But I feel like something about even how the information gets out, it seems just like I don't care ish. Okay, I don't care ish. Um, let's get to I, I got a child. Is that all? I feel like I find we almost done, honey. Y'all, take one last second, y'all, and like the video, please. Y'all, let's get into it. Uh, I want to touch on this. It say Chris Brown. We at Chris Breezy. Chris Breezy. Okay. It say that he has to pay a backup after fifteen thousand dollars over eye injuries to stay on the set of his music, on the set of your music video. Um, not part of reports. Okay, because Chris Brown was ignoring a court case. Had now you can't be ignoring court cases, okay? Look, you can possibly ignore maybe like a little, a little, little, little car ticket, a little, little traffic, or a little traffic ticket, but you should not be ignoring like lawsuits by people suing you, okay? It says because Chris Brown ignored the court case and had another, oh, he got child fifteen thousand dollars. Danielle Griffin filed a lawsuit against him in 2019 due to the eye injury she sustained after someone on the set of Chris Brown's video poured fake 
fake blood on her face without proper protection. It happened back in 2017, blah, 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 blah. Um, child, I just felt like if you look, if if you ain't gonna be safe, you're gonna be sorry. And if you up here ignoring shit, well, guess what's gonna happen? So because he didn't reply, money, money on hand. And I but fifteen thousand dollars is like a little chump change. Little chump change, okay. So hopefully she get her money. Hopefully he paid for it and it's moving. I feel like sometimes when it's chump change, pay it and let it go. Okay. If you I a little, little a little eye issue, whatever, I can still see I was inconvenienced. He go 15 grand, leave me alone. Um Nick a uh, child, Nick Cannon. Now, let me pull up Nick Page. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be messy. What I meant to bring this up before because Nick literally made all the rounds for Easter with all the kids. Okay. Now this is him with him and Heck, the kids with, with Mariah. Okay, with Mariah. Um, this oldest two, the twins, the first set of twins, and whatnot. Um, this is what what how it means to me. This Easter Zen's Light Foundation had the honor of spreading joy and light over 100 kids. Blah blah blah. That's Zen with the son that passed away. But again, he's spending time with children around Easter. And he had his oldest two kids there with him. And we also see how Alyssa, who is Zen's mom, and that's their daughter too, was there. Okay. So Nick round here, again, making the rounds with the kids. He also was with, again, Zen, mama, and the other baby, and whatnot, and whatnot. Again, Taking a tragedy of losing a son and making it into a positive event for other kids. Okay. He also was with um which kids is these? These are the kids with I think Brittany Bell. I think that's golden in them. So he he then went around at a Brittany in them house. Okay. To so them children. Okay. Again, he out here making the round with the, with the babies. Okay. He then had to go, he's with the baby Onyx. Okay. Baby girl Onyx. Now y'all not y'all know they say that Onyx is, you know, the child he has with the with the black woman, but Mariah's carry black too, you know, and whatever. But again, he's around here in the Easter suit with that daughter as well. And I also find it a little not hilarious, but just different. Onyx's mom is the only mom who we never see her and Nick in these family. Photos, how we see him with the other women. Mariah and Onyx's mom be like, no. No, like we're not going to do the whole little family uh, thing. No. I'm the mama, you the daddy. Y'all y'all can go take pictures. Because with the other kids, you know, mom or whatever, it's always like this family child. I just told you, like a, a family child style photo. Um, but I I appreciate the fact that Onyx's mom is like not trying to blur the lines of what it is. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm the mama, you the daddy. That's it. Um, we seen him with the Abby Nicole kids as the twins, and also the daughter. Also, the one son. I think I think the son Zillion. Uh, they came out really and said that how he is um he is he he was diagnosed with autism, um you know but still a great kid and whatnot. But again, Easter Nick round here child making the rounds. Okay, and is, is it the same Easter Bunny suit? Is, this, is it the same one? I don't know. But again, Nick having to do a lot. Okay, a lot, a lot. Now. Do you have other? I think he, I feel like he had other kids too. Let me see. Anyway, I'm not in the back. But today, we well, know yesterday. I thought it was so cute that we seen Abby, who posted photos with well, videos of their daughter with Onyx. 
because truthfully, now I'll say this: maybe is that they just never show the kids together. But I feel like we rarely ever see any because most of Nick's kids, besides the twins and the one uh, child, um, Golden, are they all the other kids are around the same age? Because y'all know Nick had everybody pregnant. Eight rhyme at the same time. So Nick's kids are really much to me the same damn age. And I felt like, okay, this is the first time we've seen two of his kids, you know, by two different women, like interacting, you know. And Nick commented and said, because Abby posted it, wow, my heart is melting, real tears. I sincerely thank you for, I say thank you. For this, I don't think you understand how much this post means to me on so many levels. Such a magnitude of joy. And then also, Annika's mom, Lanisha, you know, I think Lanisha, Lanisha, I think so. I love them together. Thank you for always being a, so good to Onyx. So I feel like, look, this is my question. Is the beef with the other moms? Because I feel like, again, all the kids are literally the same damn age. You know what I'm saying? I feel like to not see them together more often is almost weird. I feel like because we always only see Nick solo with the kids. We'll see Nick with, you know, each group, with like with each mom and that set of kids. We rarely ever see... The kids together. We don't see every kid ever. So I said this was different. And I hope that with Nick saying how much this meant for him to see it, I hope that means maybe more of Nick's children will be able to just hang out together because they're siblings. And if all if 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 I have 12 kids. And if eight of my 12 kids are all one or two years old, you know, they're all around the same age, that's the perfect time to have them be great friends. Now, Honest's mom, who again, a lot of folks like to say she's, you know, she's the one black mom, you know, she has a man, you know, that's her man, my man, my man, my man. Um, and they've been together for a little bit of a, bit of a minute, and I feel like I she's the only baby mama who we see has an actual life outside of Nick. I feel like for Brittany Bell, for Abby De La Rosa, for all of the, you know, for Alyssa, like we really only, and even the, the Brie girl. The Brie girl who we always see him doing the, the little TikTok thing with. Um, we rarely see any of them with, you know, like in a relationship outside of Nick. And, you know, my man, my man, my man. Okay. And I think that's why we don't really ever see her and Nick in these family style, you know, Photo, photo, photos for holidays or whatever it may be. Baby, I just, she's a beautiful little girl, and you know, it seems like she's been raised in love. But I, I do also feel like I and Lanisha, I think Lanisha, Lanisha, so well, Lanisha, she's also a beautiful woman, you know. And you know, maybe you know Nick was just was just a sperm donor. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like, you know, it's cute for us to finally see at least two of his kids who are around the same age to, to, to be intertwining with each other. Okay. And I, this was me messy and showing that. Um, what else I want to get? I saw this, y'all. Um, it says California families advising women against getting plastic surgery outside the country after their loved one died during a four thousand dollar mommy makeover in Mexico. I want to say this about that. I do not understand why people are not (sighs) 
aware. Trying to save money on surgery is the dumbest thing to try to save money on. I'll try to save money on toilet tissue because it's expensive. Hell, it was a mistake from the grocery store. I'm not trying to save money when trying to get surgery. You need to find the best doctor, the best licensed doctor. And no tea, no shit against Mexico. That ain't the place to go for surgery. It just isn't. Especially if you're going because it's for the low, low. So many people go over there and don't make it back because you're trying to get this back door uh, base, uh, 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 a bargain basement surgery. And that's not what you should. If you can afford the surgery, don't get it. If you can't afford to get it done right, don't get it. If you have an extra $4,000 for surgery in, in the U.S. costs $15,000, you can't afford to chop, do a GoFundMe. Do it. If I, y'all, I still have not thought about GoFundMe, but I'm, because I'm still child, think about it. However, I still want, you know, I want a new car. Um, you know, do a fundraiser and just say, hey, I really want this mommy makeover, but I can't afford it. I have I have four thousand dollars and I need fifteen more thousand. But I feel like, you know, it's unfortunate that they're like, oh, you know, let's advise. We been new. You ain't know. There is nothing I, I there's nothing a doctor can do for me for Mexico. No. I don't want no medications from Mexico. I don't want no, I don't want nothing from Mexico. Not today, not ever. So tragedy takes uh Tanqu Tanquasha was 30, traveled to Mexico on February 10th. They might be over. They reportedly included lipo and a breath lift, according to one of her sisters before her trip. She was so excited about her girl. Excited. <sighs> Lady did not make it out the procedure. A uh, rupture of multiple blood vessels of the thorax and muscular region of the abdomen. Abdominant. And then they found out her doctor was not licensed, nor was the you nor was the clinic. Even after she passed away, they still continue to advertise for the child. Because first of all, is is when you have surgeries over in Mexico, is it, it's not in English, is it? I feel like it's in Spanish. And so I feel like you can't even read what the shit say. So a tragedy, absolutely. But I feel like stop going out the country for surgery. If you can't afford it here, leave it be, okay? Um, I know that they are talking about, you know, Oh, no sound, ma'am. Mm -mm, not today. Um, Mary J. Blige is not being sued. Okay, Mary J. Blige is not being sued. However, UMG, Universal Music Group, is being sued by a company saying Mary J. Blige is 1990. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. That song. They're suing for, is it, I think the first one was it, um, what is it, child? I thought like it was copyright infringement, um, uh, because they're saying that Mary J's song sampled their song from like 1970 something, um, and they weren't, it wasn't like properly done. They're saying that. They got, I guess, the approval from a song that came out in the 1980s. 
but that was not where the original sound came from. And so now, you know, 40 years, 40, 30 years later, um, they're suing for damages. They want you to stop profiting off the song until the matter is resolved. I'm like, that song came out eight child. Did they just find out? That was a huge song. But again, the 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 copyright they got was from a just a, a different song. What the, now it could be that they just did not know that's where it came from. It could be we heard it from this other song. Maybe they didn't do it right. I don't know. Um, but I was like, child, not from a 1992 song. Not a 1992 song, okay? It says, True, Tough America in Claim, the song Impeached the President, which is their song, um, was used as a sample in a married 1992 hit. The claim of sample used is both a sound recording and a musical co music composition. Um, they claim they attempted to reach out to UMG over their concerns, but they have they never heard anything back, so they're going to sue. But how long would, when did y'all reach out? Okay, we in the show, we in the show, again, it says how, you know, Mary and them sampled, they said it sampled from a song called Top Ballin' was credited and approved, okay, but I, they did not, I, they, I'm thinking they did not know that was a sample too, okay, but child, I'm like suing 30, 30 years, 30 years, I'm okay. We shall see. Um, what's left, y'all? Let what's left because I thought there's not much left. I gotta do. Let me see. Um, we did Chris Brown, we did Nick, we did Justin. Yeah, we got escape left, and then the, the people they they fighting. Okay, they out here fussing and fighting over trademark and stuff. But first, I forgot this one thing before we get to escaping them. Um, Chop and Yoki Lee. A Yoki Simmons Lee, Lee Simmons, I don't know. Um, allegedly, she's 21, is kissing on this. Is it, is it Serafina? Co founder, whose name I can't pronounce, is 65 years old. I said, Chuck, and I keep, I keep, when I keep seeing folks, she gave my mama. I'm like, that is, I mean, it's a little bit true, you know. Um, let me Google this man because I don't I don't know this man. They say Google that man's work. Okay, let me see how much. Let me Google now. I don't know what he is, what he do, um, and whatever. I don't know what none of that is. Okay, child, wait a minute. It says possibly about five hundred million. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Um, but she was allegedly was, you know, see kissing that man or whatever. I don't see no proof of it. And while she was on her little live or whatever, folk kept calling her phone. She's like, why are folks keep calling? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. And she then said, Oh, well, now I know why people keep calling me. They said you was kissing that man. Again, 6521. So what's worse? A 21-year-old kissing and making out with a 65-year-old. Because y'all know, it was, see, somebody, let me, because I, I didn't see the picture. I didn't see the picture, and that's what I wanted to see. Let me, because nobody, should I, I probably should have one on one. Let me see, Aoki, and let me just Google it. And see, like, because I didn't see, oh, yeah, they on the beach. Well, technically, wait, let me, oh, a mouth kick, child, oh. She is her daddy's daughter. Child. 
Let me screenshot this. I, I, I want to show it to y'all big. Okay, I want to blow it up for y'all. Because I just won't, you know. Child, now she, oh, so she is, oh, she is round, child, she round here. Oh, let's go, let's go to page six. Because that's who has the stuff. Page of the six. She, child, look, I don't want no old worms. I don't, you know, look, there are, look. <laughs> Lord Jesus, it's all these ads. Oh my God. Ads, ads, ads all over. This is my thing. We have seen, you know, handsome looking old, like, Ernie Hudson, you know, er, let, me, let me Google it. Google is my friend. Ernie Hudson. We child, because let, let's let's just let's I'm just I'm trying to you know get my point across. Okay. Ernie Hudson is set with like six seventy, whatever. I think he's a child. Hey Siri. How old is Ernie Hudson? Ernie Hudson is 78 years old. He's 78, y'all, but I feel like he look good for 78. Come on now. Come on now, MP. Okay. So I just I just have to make the, the distinction that it's not really about age. Because Ernie Hudson can get it. A little something. I would, I would kiss Ernie Hudson. I would. I would kiss him. And I would let him follow my moves. <laughs> and then see where it goes. Okay. Um, Ernie Hudson looks good. Because I was like, Ernie, show what you doing, Ernie? Zooming, Ernie, Ernie, what is going on? Okay. So Ernie Hudson, if YouTube knocked y'all out, Come on back in, y'all. I'm still here. We not done. So Ernie Hudson is older than this man. Uh, who name I can Retrio? I don't know who name I can't pronounce. Um, the 43 year age difference, and they on the beach, and she was she kissed that man in the mouth. Okay, and she she's the younger daughter. This Ming is the older daughter, and Yoki is the youngest one. Child, I just feel like like when y'all started dating. When y'all start dating, but this is like even Drea. And the the the, the Jalen the J, the Jalen the the Drea Jalen thing you know what I'm saying the dude he's twenty one twenty two Drea thirty nine to me that's more acceptable because Drea isn't in her sixties you know what I'm saying it's like oh my god and, and yeah Aoki looks young. And Yoki looks young. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also feel like, you know, she's not young-minded, but Yoki doesn't give off like I can really be out here with somebody granddaddy, um, you know, and be somebody grandmama. That's just not what it gives. And you know, she's a she's an adult. She's legally an adult. You know, and I think sometimes people be like, oh, okay, we on the beach somewhere, no one can see us. And they're like, no, we see you. Okay, we see you. We see y'all together. And I feel like does he know? The, the 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 apps are there because his phone ain't point. It don't look like it's pointed there. Like he's a child.
but like mother, child, like mother, like daughter. I am just a stock. Because I'm like, oh no, she she kissed him in the mouth. Is it the fact that he's I think it's the fact that he took for me. For me, it's the fact that he looks 80 on top of the fact that when I've seen Aoki's lives and seen her talk or whatever, she gives young woman, you know, she gives, you know, 1920. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't get like you sometimes have people women who are let's say 21. However, they carry themselves as if they are 30. They are they are mature for their age. So sometimes they don't like people their own age because they, they are mature people. I don't see that being Aoki. That's what I, I feel like when you are an older person dating a younger person, you should at least make sure that younger person is, is mentally mature. When you around here dating people who are 21 and they act 21, I feel like what is going on? Because let's be honest, he is a rich, older white man. He can get a beautiful 30-year-old woman who looks 21. It it it's it's child. It also child, you ain't never safe. You ain't never safe because I they probably felt like no one would see them kissing and smooching on the beach. And here they are kissing on the beach. So maybe it's a summer fling. My daddy ain't got no money. I maybe and maybe she child. I, I don't know. I I don't know. I it's just a child. She's twenty one and he's sixty five. I believe she's freshly graduated from college, uh, currently and now. That's a kissing buddy. Um, we shall see, you know, where that goes. Now, this this is a different picture of that man. This ain't him right now, though. Okay, I'm gonna say that ain't him right now. And you look a little different. Um, let's get to I want to touch on JT and then last thing we'll do escape. JT and and Glorilla round here fussing and fighting on Twitter. Now, I know Glorilla just had an interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay. I have not watched it yet, but I probably will. And I don't even know. Now, I know there was like rumors that a scuffle of some sort happened. And I believe the BT Awards, it was like alleged that, oh, there was Glorilla like either Glorilla hit JT or something. But both women, at least JT denied it. I don't think Lorilla ever, ever addressed it. Um, Lorilla had a song out recently or whatever, and I, I, I think kind of moving there. So somebody said, "Do anybody know why Glow slapped her at that award show me and JT?" JT said she never slapped me ever, ever, never. Like y'all find somebody else to play with, bit okay. JT then went on so on Twitter. I've been saying she didn't. She the one who went radio silent, played into it, released a song about sapping a rap, but it's not as female unity corny. Glorilla ho. I said, oh no. No. No, no. Uh ho, shut your dumb ass up and fix not fix them ugly wigs. I said it ain't no beef ho. You the one. With the secret, the secret out of my seat. Now, in the song, what would this say? Like, we not beefing. Um, no, we not like we not best friends, but ain't no beef. Okay, that was said in the song, and it kind of is uh, ugly wigs, bitch. You was dumb, bitch. Is you dumb hoe? 
You never, you'll never your life through this bra hole. I've been, I've been, I've been half what? I've been half fake titties off care credit. I've been that bit using train train child, not not care credit titties. Why care credit titties? Is that a thing? To get care credit titties? Okay. Um, ugly shouldn't be your mouth ever. Joe, you look like you was born feet first. First of all, why she call her Joe? Joe, you look like you was born feet first, asshole. Don't mention to me. Secret and I see where. Wow. Um, them no, them mind, no free promo. I'm like, y'all, child, what? Bitch, you said my name. Air, <laughs> air, Patrick Brain. Now, I did see the clip on um, Club Shay Shay where Gloria really said that for like for, for 15 years growing up, she didn't know, like, for 15 years, she, she slept on an air mattress or on the floor at her house. They, they was like, they was like really poor. You know what I'm saying? And she said, she's like, I didn't even know that people had, like, their own room. Like, I didn't know about, like, an actual real mattress because I slept on um, an air mat. I was like, big, wow, child. But she, the, the, the parts of the Glorilla interview I saw was really cool. So she just admitted on the interview how she, you know, did not have a bed. She was, you know what I'm saying, teenager. But, you know, <laughs> bitch, you said my name. <laughs> Air mattress, not air, air mattress brain, child. <laughs> you look like you was born feet first. What does that mean, y'all? And when I tell you, like it's a y'all, I did not even think to go on the social media, um, because I didn't feel like it. Okay, um, I want to be sure I, I kind of got everything they was saying. Okay, because I feel like them fussing back and forth was kind of ridiculous because I was like, if it ain't no beef, ain't no beef. You know what I'm saying? Now, when Glorilla then said, your comeback's weak, just stop, boo. It's okay, I won. JT then said, I thought you, I thought you won. I stopped, I was being generous. Letting you promote that wet ass product and nobody give a about and nobody asks for you just be do doing shit. Work on your craft, soften your voice. Everything ain't gotta be hard like your like girl, girl. Not everything ain't gotta be hard like girl. She had a hard, but JT, you had a hard life too. This is this is the thing. JT and Glorilla both had hard upbringings. Okay. J when JT in prison, which one was in prison? Was JT? I feel like JT was the one in prison. So technically, y'all both had hard lives, okay? And ch so, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get it. Um, she said, "Wait, bitch, you're ugly." No sex appeal. Got dragged for trying to be seductive with the wars, crying. To your label because you was tired of Trump dancing. You are a Glock toting pit bull that need to stay in her G phase. you're not a Zinderella. Hell, you're not even a stepsister, bitch. Um, JT, you sound stupid. I feel like the same way the city girls get clowned for their stage performance. The same way we clown y'all for not being, you know, amazing rappers. The same way folk is waiting for y'all to do something different. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all still growing like she is. I feel like people clown Glorilla because she looked uncomfortable. However, I do feel like she still has better stage presence than y'all do. So I feel like you trying to, trying to you know what I'm saying? Talk cash shit by what she got going on. You ain't no better. You know what I'm saying? You out here trying to tour with no songs, man. So I feel like you know to try to clown her for her trying to grow herself as an artist. You need to. 
I also feel like she not ugly. I feel like JT, before you had money, bitch, you were ugly. And I'm and I'm not and I'm not trying to like go off on her, but I feel like it's weird to me that you trying to talk cash shit about her when both of y'all look different before y'all got money. Laura looked different before she had money, and so did you. And both of y'all have money now, and y'all look different. Because honestly, Laura is not ugly. She isn't. I, I feel like people think if you don't have like the regular features, you're ugly. She not ugly. She isn't. Some folk think JT ugly. But she isn't. But I feel like trying to be like, oh, you know, Glorilla has Glorilla has sex appeal. It's just not overtly sexual. Like people want to fuck her. Period. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's weird. One, that y'all beefing in general. Okay. But however, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, you know, I don't think J JT, JT, your career is not at a place to clown somebody else who is basically doing better than you because she's on a tour. And to me, Glorilla has a better stage presence than both Carisha and JT. I still feel like JT and Carisha don't know who they are as artists yet. And when you call another black woman ugly, you're feeding into other people's stereotypes of, to, to how we look. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, your reads, your reads sound gonna sound petty. And also like self-inflicting hate. Um, let me see what she was saying. Um I missed your name to clear the air. What you want me to say? I didn't slap you, but I hit you with my first and said, scary ass hoe. Um, that's scary ass hoe. I guess she was waiting on her tape to address and who gonna clear up going viral for slapping someone when the whole hood believed it believed it. I was on brand. So okay, she didn't slap her, but you gave him a purse. And he just said, Oh my god, you a liar, bitch. You didn't hit me with shit. Fan out as bitch. You approached me, sound like an old beatbox. An old beat up box Chevy. What? Why? I'm like, child. I just can't believe they really fussing. They really out here. Yeah, they was really out here fighting on Twitter. Glorilla said, "Don't make me pop up at one of them backyard parties, <laughs> bitch." Bit what? Don't make not 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 see. This is a read. This is a read. Don't make me pop up at one of them backyard barbecue shows you're doing. You feeling the way about slapping rap bitches and making making bail. Oh, <laughs> guess that last run in had you thinking you the only bitch I touched. Inmate <laughs> zero nine eight three was talking taking off her shoes like she was gonna get get to me. Didn't know if her ass was trying to get active or get sturdy. Lying about getting touched is crazy. Now, first of all, backyard barbecue child, backyard. Now look, and I, let me let me play that was advocate. I'm not knocking JT for doing club gigs to get her to get her fame up. You know what I'm saying? It's fine, but child, was she a big a backyard barbecue <laughs> backyard barbecue shows. Um. Again, yo guy started at Backyard Barbecue. Now he own you. Now he own you. So this not a, so this not a drag real hustlers relate. But I'm like, but that's dumb. JT trying to talk cash shit about Glorilla's stuff. And Glorilla's point was, bitch, you were doing Backyard Barbecue. So how you gonna talk about me? We are we are trying to get along. Okay. Yeah, you slower than me. I'm done arguing. Get up with me in real life. I don't do that internet. You're going to win every time. I already heard you going broke. And now she going broke. Now she going broke. Child. The children. The children are fighting, child. Fighting. Okay. 
fighting. I just want them both to win. You know, I feel like um, some folk like it when artists beef, but I feel like it's just messy. But Glorilla is on tour. Glorilla is on tour with Megan Thee Stallion, and a lot of the dates have been sold out already. Um, Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, they will not let this stop them. Hopefully, they can, you know what I'm saying, talk offline and get it squared away and just move on. I don't want it to lead to anything else. Um, But JT, ma'am. Focus on your brand, honey, because we want you to get, we want you to get out of them them backyard barbecue shows. We want you on stage somewhere, um, rapping and doing and doing shows. Okay, rapping and doing shows because it's time. Um, lastly, now look, we're child. I'm gonna do this one. So, AT Alien, who runs Straight from the Eight website, was saying that. Latasha was going to try to sue Morris Scott Young, escaping them, production of them, blah, 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 because Latasha and Tamika are the ones who own the escape trademark. Latasha is trying to say, how dare y'all go on a whole new tour and y'all all don't own the trademark. However, Tamika, who's on to with them, she is half owner. Now, this is what I know about trademarks, because I have my own trademark. When there's a group, when there's a group of people, okay, I'm getting on camera. When a group of people want to get a trademark for something, all members have to put their information in in order to evenly get a trademark that everyone shares. However, what happened was only Tamika and Natasha filed for a trademark. Even though all four girls were the group. However, if they all never got a trademark, whoever trademarks the name, and if you trademark the name in all the different classes and, and, and classifications and stuff, then you have it with all of that. Okay, right. Like Ralph and Johnny, trademark tradition. Some people do it because you want to trademark it so that nobody else can. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing that happened with, with T.S. Madison and Kaya where Maddie wanted to trademark the Queen's Court shit and, and, and Kaya kind of didn't care about it. And so Maddie went and did it because you want to make sure that you own it so, again, so nobody else can do it. However, as long as whoever owns the trademark, you share it with your sister, she owns part of it. So she has the right to use it the same way Natasha does. Natasha can't sue. So that show how stupid she is to me. Okay. Now all the ladies of Escape put up, well, first Candy put it up on her own page and then she deleted it. But she commented here and said, I only deleted it because they want to put do a collaboration post and it's going to go back up. So again, Candy put it back up and they, you know, tagged both Tamika and tiny so all of them are tagged on this post because again the point is bit not on my watch not on my watch um and the common thing not the common, the, the captain says despite all the rumors escape swv the queens of rb tour is definitely so on get your tickets now and come kick it with us we love our fans okay and blah 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 now the get your gotcha Okay, it said, the more you know. A co-owner of a trademark is unable to maintain an infringement action against another co-owner. 
Meaning, let's say if Tamika was not in the room, let's say that Tiny and Candy chose to find a random third or fourth member to go tour as escape. And the two people who own the trademark were not involved. Then they could sue Candy and them. However, because Tamika, who is part owner of trademark, is and she's it's her, it's, it's not in French because she's part owner, a co-owner. Each co-owner has the right to exercise his trademark rights, including granting licenses to third parties, i.e., Live Nation and Mona B Entertainment, meaning Live Nation and also Mona Scott Young's thing. A valid license of one co-owner of a trademark cannot be liable to another co-owner for infringement, meaning you can't sue me, bitch. You can't sue me, bitch. You can't. You you can't sue me. And I feel like sue for what? That's the dumb part. I feel like Natasha is so broken and delusional that she feel like okay, checkmate. I'm going to sue. I'm going to force them to not be able to use Escape's name. Um, they can't go to. I'm like, first of all, Escape is not a new group. We know who they are. We all, we all also know that Latasha is not involved in shit they're doing. So nobody, nobody should. Nobody is going to this tour thinking Latasha going to be there too. No, they know they are going to see Candy. Tamika and Tiny. Even if they made a choice to use a different name, if they want to go by Candy, Tiny, Tamika, they could we we know who they are. We don't have to see the name escape to know that's who they is. So Tasha's threat of suing one is another void, but also dumb. Cause they could be in this tour and not use the name Escape and still sing songs and sell out arenas. Now, Funky was on live earlier, and because I saw him post on social media that he had like some inside tea, and I said, What's the tea? Now, was it a bit of dry tea? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, some of stuff I knew, but some I did not. So let's get into it. I'm here to let y'all know now. And y'all know I sped up the voice just to speed it on through. It's about, it's about eight minutes. And then we done. I don't make the news. I just report it. I had two people reach out to me today. One person who wouldn't remain anonymous that works with uh, Escape on the business side of things. Shy was a dying one. And this person was like, you know, I'm just so tired of seeing what my sisters are going through and what my friends are going through. I just think somebody needs to put some of the truth out there. And this is why I'm, I'm telling the tease. And the second was a third party vendor, child, a vendor who Latasha and Rocky them owe some money to, bitch. So Latasha owe everybody money? I feel like she owe everybody some money. Child, she, she she may need to go find me. If you ask me, I don't even know where to start. So first and foremost, the people say Tasha and Rocky ain't got no money. I believe it. I fully believe it. I feel like the show did not go where they thought it would. I think Natasha and Rocky thought. People would want to see Natasha, and that ain't happened. I feel like they then had that that gospel album, and it didn't do what it was supposed to do. She then had that that Christmas album that child came and went, and we really haven't seen her doing much of nothing. She's not touring. Maybe she worked at sex. Maybe she, she had a double. Maybe maybe she worked at painting. I don't know, but I feel like. You know, they may, because look, child, the price of living is expensive. You hear me? 
the price of living is expensive. And if you no longer can take checks from your sister, allegedly, if you no longer can allegedly take checks from your sister, you need some more money. If Rocky can no longer be around here backdooring deals and getting extra money off top, then guess what? This ain't stealing. This ain't stealing. But you still need some money. They say Tasha and Rocky ain't got no money. Second piece of tea, and this one already hit, uh, Escape, because Escape and Candy and all them dropped the response. Tamika and Latasha are both co-owners of the trademark, okay? Which means, uh, in short, Tasha can't sue the group, Live Nation, the touring companies, whatever. She can only sue Tamika. And Tamika has the right to use the trademark because she owns 50% of it. But here's the gag is, bitch. And to me, I feel like Tamika and Natasha, when they did trademark it, they probably was being petty because if only us two own it, y'all can't do shit with the name at all. And now the fact that Tamika is cool with Candy, she don't need Natasha. My source told me that quiet as it's kept, if you want the realty, that Tasha really, really shouldn't even claim no ownership of the trademark because she ain't never even paid for it. Said when it was time to trademark the shit, Tamika was the only one who had some money and Tamika did it. And when it was time to renew the shit, that Tamika renewed it and Tasha still ain't had no money. So not only did Tasha owe Tamika $30,000 that she stole, okay, she also owe her money for the trademark, girl. The people went on to say that when it was time to renew the trademark again, that uh, Tasha and them did not want to put Candy and Tiny on the dog on trademark. Just being nasty, did not want to put them on the trademark or whatever. So it just remained in Tasha and Tamika name. Because when you renew, you can change stuff. You can update stuff. I gotta remember that too. And when you when you when you when you trademark something, it does cost money. And when you put when you put somebody else's name on it and they don't pay for it, child, this is my trademark. Do we pay that money for that thing? But if they name on it, then their name is on it. You know? Um, but if Tamika is the only one who's been paying, because the trademark thing is you pay for it up front, you then have to renew it between years five and six. It's a fee for that. You then have to renew it again, I think, at year 10. And after, I think, 10 years, you know, it's fine, fine, fine. Um, so if Tamika's been the one paying for a child, we're talking on own shit. Baby, catch these teas. They said some more stolen checks so came up, girl. Child, not more stolen checks. They said some more stolen checks. No not more stolen checks. So came up. They said some more stolen checks. No hit the damn fans. Since the show dropped. I guess people that's involved with all their business and stuff was reaching out with the girls to confirm, you know, what's been going on and what's been going on. And did you get this and did you, and come to find out what we saw in that show was one thing, but it's some most stolen checks. Because the getcha gotcha is nobody knew publicly that Rocky and or Latasha was a lady. This ain't stealing. This ain't stealing. But the show came out. And people found out, oh, we wasn't supposed to be paying Rocky. Oh, we wasn't supposed to be paying Latasha. If folk would watch the show and then call and say, hey, we have been paying Rocky and Tamika. This, did y'all get this money? Did y'all get that money? That's sometimes why things come out. Because you then find out, oh, it's other stuff around here. Hey, catch this tea. They said they couldn't confirm or deny. But they said that they believe that mama got something to do with them stolen checks too. I said you lying to me. I said you lying to me. Said they, they said they lying, they flying. Uh, alleged, you know, I got to put all the stuff out here. I don't want Escape calling me. I don't want Candy calling my phone. That's what y'all people called my line and said. Y'all think their mama was out here stealing too? Now look, 
the mom was always protecting Natasha. Could it could it be because allegedly Natasha and Rocky and the mama was the one scheming scamming? But y'all, they say there's some most on the checks like that, and they think the mama ass might be involved with it too, child. But here's the real gag. And here's how y'all know people is messy. This is the funniest part to me. Do y'all remember that video that Latasha Scott did on that bus? Where she said, you know, what 30,000 and she was talking bad about the group and saying Candy couldn't sing and showed the video of Candy voice cracking. Let me uh, refresh y'all real quick. Uh, What's up, y'all? It's Tasha. Um, I just don't normally do this. Yes, that was the word child when she did that shit i said oh lord she trying to be petty and messy right here Everybody when she was sitting on, on the bus and i ain't spoke on it let's speak on it well speak on it as you can see i have been out promoting my album which by the way comes out april 7th y'all ready to that that album was a year that was that, that was from a year ago child did anybody buy that album anybody somebody nobody Okay. And I have not had time to address this fully. As you can be honest, Tasha, um, I don't normally do this. Hold on. But does anybody want to speak? Why book it, Agent? Y'all get ready to gag. Why book it, Agent Fish, from the bus company, called my line directly and said they repossessed that tour bus two days after Tasha made that video because Tasha and Rocky could not pay for the tour bus. Said they took all the people's shit off that bus and left all their shit at the lobby or where they was at and repossessed their bus, bitch. Now, is that why we never seen her promote nothing much after that? Because remember, Tasha was on a, a city to city tour going to different radio stations around Atlanta and around Georgia in the state surrounding that part in that tour bus with her face on it. Is that what ha is that why we ain't never seen nothing? Because they had to repo the bus because the album didn't sell. And look, I am never one to want to laugh at nobody who's saying the child. I want I, look, I want bigger views and followers too. Okay, but I'm in my own little lane. You know I'm my own little lane. I ain't you know say Tasha. The bus got repo. I said, God damn. God damn. You got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Now, mama just did all. Robin, you did all this? She said, as y'all can see, I'm out here promoting my album. Uh-uh, not according to Transportation Fish. Transportation Fish told me that they're directly on the line. Her name was Donna. Okay? The Don not <laughs> <laughs> Not giving Donna name. Donna said I could use her name because she don't work there no more. Donna said, Donna said they repossessed that bus two days after that video was recorded. Put all they shit out in the lobby. <laughs> <coughs> and I'm just telling y'all what Donna said. Why did it ride around in Rocky Car? Like why y'all have why would you need why would you need a tour bus to ride around the city? Greg, if you don't get your little a little uh, a little minivan. Go on the Hertz and to Enterprise and rent a little van and do that. Donna said, and Donna said that video had to upset the people down to the bus company because she was like, how she right here front and like she doing so damn well and promoting. And if they did, they pay us our damn money. Donna said they put Donna say they had their staff members ground that bus and took all they shit off that bus and left that shit in the lobby of whatever hotel the people were staying in. I said, do Jesus. I said, let me tell y'all something. Y'all be sleeping on the little people. The little people are the most dangerous people in the room because they're invisible. And they hear and see everything. And those are... Y'all see me in my window. Y'all look, I am... Look, me in the window recording a fight. Okay? Nobody saw me. I was invisible. The people that be having the tea. Baby, they say between Escape Business Associate and Donna... Baby, they say... Tasha them down there doing bad. They say they down bad. They said they don't understand how Tasha making any type of money. Because I do wonder what she do. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when people are artists and we're not seeing them working, like how are they making money? Like what? Because like she don't have many residuals coming in now for stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like what is she doing? Escape Business Associate that I talked to said it's no way in hell Tasha could ever come back to that group. 
that the ladies, they said even Tamika said that her sister is not welcome back to that group. That just too much has gone by. Um, what else they told me? Um, they said um, that they don't, they said they didn't know, but they said that they don't think that Tamika has talked to that sister or that mama in over two years since that show came out. I believe it. Cause that's what Tamika kept on saying when she would do like little laughs or whatever, how her and her, they hadn't talked. They hadn't talked at all because Tamika felt like you owe me an apology. You owe me some kind of conversation. And I feel like Latasha just wasn't willing to accept any kind of fault at where things got to. Allegedly. I said, oh, child, tell me some more, tell me some more. And so I said, um, you know, since I had him on the line, I said, so tell me about this tour, like with SWV and SK, how was they able to work it out? Child, the people said, and listen, and I'm just telling you what the people said. The people said that SWV got in the room and Escape got in the room and they started comparing stories and quiet as it's kept. Tasha was the one swerving up shit between the two of the groups. It was the ones having them beefing, was going around saying she ain't even want to do the tour, was telling one group one thing and telling the others other, and was sewing up all that division. And now that she ain't part of the equation, the ladies are able to co-headline. They are going on tour having no problem. The ladies are co-headlining the tours. They split the money down the doggone middle. One group of ladies going to open one show. One group of ladies going to open the other show. And everything is going just fine. Now that the sister and her husband is not in the equation. And I believe it because we saw that on the show. We saw that on the show. We kept on saying the problem is Latasha. Escape kept having to wait on Latasha. And Latasha would sometimes just sit back and not say shit or make things awkward and weird or whatever. And then, you know, that made Escape upset. I mean, that, that made SWB upset or whatever. So it do feel like it was a bunch of bullshit up in there. And the fact that they're now both co-headliners, it makes sense. It does. Now, I'm just telling you what people told me. I don't make the news. I report it. And listen, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Look at the flyer. It got SWV and Escape Name, same size, next to each other. Both got top billing. So obviously what my source told me was the truth, honey. The girls had no work that out. And I think it's wrong and shitty as hell for Tasha to want to ground the group. You abandoned the group, not once but twice. And now you mad somehow you want to sit back and collect the check or something because you own a part of the trademark or whatever the case may be. And you know your ass can't come back to the damn group. Because she can't. Because she can't. Now, Tasha child wiped her IG. Okay. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing but this one post, you know what I'm saying, from before. Her little picture up there. Okay. We don't know, child, nothing. Ain't no album names. Ain't no uh, website link. Nothing. Okay. It's like, did she vanish? I was sure she didn't vanish. Child. You don't win when you play dirty. And to me, like Funky said, Tasha left the group twice. The first time trying to go solo, and then this time trying to go solo. She left the group twice, gave the group her ass to kiss twice. The difference is currently Candy's currency on reality TV shows, and it's her connections in the business means that they don't need Latasha. Because Latasha and Smeeka has the same voice, and they've now mastered being able to tour and sing the songs out her. You never allow someone to master doing things without you, unless you really want to go and be solo. Then go and be solo. But you can't try to be solo. That don't work out the first time. Y'all come back together. You cause all kind of cats allegedly stealing money for your sister and then think, yeah, they'll always need me. They don't. And the fact of the matter is, you can't even succeed on your own. You don't have to do a whole like these big tours. I feel like when people go their separate ways, just stay in your lane and grow your brand. 
you should stop trying to be Latasha from Escape. Just be Latasha. Just because you ruined your chance of getting back in that. To me, once you try to sue them and stop the tour of them making money, bitch, you can't come back. You can't come back. You've already ruined that. that you've burned that bridge. Why are you not promoting yourself? Why are you not still promoting the album you did? Why are you not, child, going live, doing, out, doing whatever? Keep building. Keep building. Start from scratch. Because you would never, it's a, it's a difference when somebody is a solo artist and then they go into a group and then they fall out or they break up or whatever and then the, the solo folk go back solo or whatever. But you can start a brand new solo solo career if you just child start being honest. Stop being petty. Stop trying to go back and attach yourself to escape when you left twice. Leaving once is one thing. Leaving twice, bitch, you're gone. And you have now allowed them and the and the fans as well, who is gonna pay to go see them perform. They can now still get all their favorite songs. They is less money for them to spend because it's three and not four. And nobody really misses you. And when we discussed, it was like, damn, she went down bad. And like nobody was like rooting for her downfall at all. I think folk was hoping that they can they can, you know what I'm saying, make it make it work or whatever. But to me. Latasha kept fucking shit up. She kept listening to Rocky, who keeps telling her, you're the star. You're the Beyonce. You're the Diana Ross. And she isn't. You, Latasha, cool. But you've never stood on your own two feet and not tried to use the shit from Escape to make yourself pop. And then you, she be she ran her radio silent and not saying nothing, and it ain't helping. Okay, so hopefully, child, she get it together because nobody wants to see her out here destitute and home because she ain't got no money. But I feel like she has to do something for her child. Maybe she should try to go for me, like me. Because I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start me go fund me, and I'm gonna have strangers from across the world child buy me a new car. Anyway, um, but I ain't, but I ain't Natasha. Okay, I'm I'm a I am a regular girl. And I feel like you all you had to do was be a group player. Be a be a team member of that group. Set your shit aside because y'all have y'all have already had songs together to sing. But you allow Rocky or whatever thought thought in your mind to force you to go on that show and show your ass and just want a solo deal, not thinking, bitch, you know the world watching, and it looked grindy what you're doing, and that ruined even more of your of your reputation. So hopefully, she learns from this, she grows from this. Hopefully, hell, she makes some real good music without no autumn runs or riffs or whatever. Maybe she can be booked on K Michelle tour. Um, maybe her and JT, maybe, maybe Latasha and JT can do a tour together. Child JT, get Latasha on the backyard barbecue show tour. Get it together. Let Latasha sing back up for you. Do our bop bop boop. Okay. Do that. But we wish her well. Anyway, y'all, I'm done. I am done. A good time was had by all y'all. Look. Happy Friday. It's basically almost Saturday. Um, if more stuff come out gossip wise, I'll come live tomorrow. Um, otherwise, I'll be live on Sunday. Y'all, please forget remember to uh subscribe to my channel, share the video. Y'all know I'm gonna I'm gonna clip out a part. I don't know which part. I'm gonna clip out a part that I will repost tomorrow and whatnot. Um, so don't like did, did I say yes. 
yes, I clip out certain parts. So folks who did not watch the full, full, full live can see a little part of it, okay? But again, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Or to my channel. Uh, follow me on social media at it is corner on IG, Twitter, and TikTok. Okay, let's go. I am done. I love you all. Have a great evening.